Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with the final four quilt blocks that I will be making for this Adorable Animals quilt block series. I have a playlist down below if you need to get caught up on this. I'll have it in the description and also on the end screen. I have been making six inch blocks using some uh, adorable animal or non-animal because I have some that are like a mushroom, things like that. Uh, I've been using a three and a half inch square motif like that and I just kind of organized this whole quilt top based on the colors that I had of these squares and I just went with whatever I felt like going with at the time. I have made 16 blocks so far and I am going to make four in this video and we are stopping there at 20. And all of my blocks, they end up like this, and I'll have a slideshow at the end of this video showing you all the blocks. The blocks will be going on eBay as a penny auction, which means the bidding starts at one penny and it's free shipping. It is for USA only. I've decided I'm not making a quilt top. I'm going to have the auction just for the completed blocks. That way you can use the blocks any way you want. For the first block that we are going to make today, you need a three and a half inch square of your motif of choice. It doesn't even have to be a motif. You just need a three and a half inch square and another three and a half inch square. So you need two three and a half inch squares for this block. You need two two inch squares. You need this guy. This is three and a half inches wide by two inches tall. And then this down here is six and a half inches wide by two inches tall. So let's put this block together. Any order you want. I will connect these two and these three and then I will connect these three pieces. If you are human, like me, your block might come out uneven, like this. Don't worry about that, because I plan for that kind of stuff. This should be about six and a half inches square, but we're going to cut this down to six inches square, and that way you can decide, you know, what things need to be evened off. So I'm going to press this, I'll trim it down to six inches square, and then I'll show you. And it looks like this. Awesome. Let me set up the next block. Here's the second block. You need your three and a half inch square. You need four two inch squares. This little guy is three and a half inches wide by two and a half inches tall. And this is three and a half inches wide by four and a half inches tall. I'm just gonna sew them together any order we want. I'm just going to put this four patch together first, make sense right, and then I'll just have four pieces to put together. I will press and trim to six inches. Oh, I really like this one. I mean, I like them all, but I just really like this one. Don't forget, there's a slideshow at the end, so stick around for that. You'll see all the squares. Now we're ready for the third block. Here's the third block, nice and simple. You need two three and a half inch squares. These little skinny strips, they are one and a half wide by three and a half tall. You need two of those. And then you need two of these. These are two and a half wide by three and a half tall. Sew these together, sew that together.
Press and trim to six inches. And here's this one. Super cute. But I do need to point out, since this is going on eBay, that my little blocks have an inner border. I wish they didn't. Because I don't get them straight. You know, they're not squared up in there. And that's because I, you know, usually do a shitty job. I tell you guys, we don't have to be perfect. And I uh, try to follow that rule. <laughs> So I just wanted to let you know that, you know, sometimes I get lucky. This one's a little bit better, but that one's a little bit crooked. We're almost done, these blocks. This is the last block for this series, and it's a pretty simple one. You need two three and a half inch squares. You need four two inch squares, and you need three strips. They are each one and a half by three and a half. I'm just going to sew all this stuff together and then we'll be done. I'm going to press and trim and we're done. I'm going to miss this series but I'm happy to be done because I want to do some more series like this so please subscribe and you won't miss any of the things that I do and again if you want to make all 20 blocks you can make them scrappy you don't have to do anything like I did it will just give you 20 squares that are all different in some way and you could just use your scraps and make a nice scrappy little quilt top or you know make a whole bunch of these blocks as many as you need just repeat the ones that you like you do have a slideshow coming up so stick around for that and the link for the ebay auction for the 20 blocks is in the description of this video remember the bidding starts at one penny with free shipping it is for usa only and the auction runs for one week, so it's only good for one week after I upload this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!